Alright, so what does a software development setup look like? Or rather, what does my software development setup look like? So this is what my current setup looks like and it has been refined over a period of time and uh, generally what I like is to have a relatively minimal setup. Now this is not a spectacular setup but it is the setup that I use. I find that the less stuff I have on my desk the more productive I am. However it is really hard to keep my desk clutter free and uh, usually I end up putting like, my notebooks, papers, pens uh, books, lenses, uh, tea mugs and anything else on there. But ideally my setup looks like this and uh, for the most part I try to keep it that way. Alright so let's get into some specifics and also I'll have links in the description to all the stuff that I'm about to mention in case you want to have a look. So let's start with the computer that I use. I personally use the MacBook Pro 2018 model with the i7 core. And uh, this is what I use for all my software development tasks. My reason for choosing the Mac is because I simply like the OS and also I want to be able to easily develop for both Android and iOS, which uh, the Mac can offer. And as a side note, you don't really need any especially powerful computer to do software development. You can pretty much get the cheapest model available and you'll be able to do software development with no problem. Alright, so secondly, my monitor is a AOC 27-inch monitor and I don't really have much to say about this other than that it's a 4K monitor and it's 27 inches and uh, right now I'm actually thinking of maybe updating or upgrading towards a 32-inch monitor and the reason being that generally when I code I usually have one terminal window open and a text editor of some sort and also like Slack or Google open which on the 27 inch monitor is kind of a tight squeeze but on a 32 inch monitor I think this would be relatively comfortable to have all these windows open at the same time. Next I have the stand for my monitor which is something that I put together myself just a couple days ago and it's basically just a shelf with some legs on it and I highly recommend getting a stand for your monitor that's got some space underneath it because that means that you'll be able to put stuff underneath it and you'll also be able to use the space on top of the stand so you'll get more space on your desk. I personally usually put notebooks or textbooks underneath that shelf and also I'm able to put my phone and some other things on top of the shelf. Now when it comes to adapters for the Mac, I use an adapter that I wouldn't personally recommend. It's, I don't know what it's called even, it says uh, Delta Co on top. But what I would recommend instead would be the Hyperdrive USB Hub, which is a bit more elegant in the design and it also has a bit more utility. And I also have a regular USB adapter that just has a ton of regular USB ports. The keyboard that I use is a white Apple Magic keyboard and of all the different keyboards that I've tried I really like this one and my typing speed is really good on it and it also feels really natural to type on. My mouse is almost not even worth mentioning because it's just a random mouse that I have and uh, all I really was looking for was just a mouse in general um, and that it was wireless. I think it's called Rapu. 5G and the same goes for the desk lamp it's from IKEA and basically I just wanted some sort of light on my desk for when I'm working either early in the morning or late at night when I don't want to turn on the main lamp. Uh, the desk itself is just a big piece of walnut wood that I attached some IKEA legs on and uh, the standard desk setup Alex drawer unit from IKEA. The speaker that I have is just a Jawbone Jambox speaker which is just a random speaker that I have and I rarely listen to music or anything so it's pretty much never used and when I do watch like movies or videos on YouTube I usually use my AirPods to listen to that. I also have my old iPhone 6s on my desk 
which is just because sometimes when I develop apps, I like to test the apps on an actual device just to feel how it actually feels on the device. Lastly, I usually keep my phone on my desk, which is just a OnePlus 6 with 128 gigabytes of storage. All right, so this is basically the desk setup that I use to increase my productivity and uh, get my job done. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any ideas for other videos that you'd like for me to make, then just leave a comment and uh, maybe I will.